This pair of jeans is my holy grail pair of jeans, the type of mom jeans that I have always tried to find but forever failed until I found these. I think my coffee's starting to hit me now because I have started to shake a little bit, like a little chihuahua in the winter. Hey guys, it's Jess. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. For today's video, I am sharing my most favorite, my most worn, and my top 10 jeans. Now, I originally got inspired by this video from a creator called Vivian Audi. I saw her video consistently coming up on my like recommended homepage for you. I'll link it below if you wanna check it out. But I thought it would be fun to also share my most favorite and most worn jeans because sometimes finding jeans is a little bit tricky. I have definitely gone through the ringer, the trial and error, of trying to find the best fitting jeans that are flattering, that are in my style, and that actually fit well. I'll have links to everything down below in the description box, as well as sizing information to help you guys kind of figure out like what might work for you based on what works for me. And if you guys have any questions about these jeans or anything like that, like just let me know in the comment section because I know jean shopping is the worst kind of shopping. There's just so much that can go wrong with it. So just let me know if you have any questions. And if you're not subscribed yet, please make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And now let's hop into my top 10 jeans. So these jeans are in no particular order besides kind of like a nice little color spectrum going on. So the first one I show is not like my top one favorite and the last one I show was not my least favorite. First up, we're talking about this pair of jeans right here. This pair of jeans is from Everlane. It's in a mid wash. And the reason I like this one so much is because it's in the most classic, true to being a mom jean, mom jean I own besides this pair of vintage mom jeans. This pair of jeans not only like snatches you at the waist, it's a very rigid type of denim. It also allows for kind of that curve that is very popular with vintage jeans. And this pair of jeans, I would say, is the best recreation of a vintage mom jean. The denim quality on this is amazing. It's soft, but it's so high quality. It's a very nice, comfortable denim, but it's very rigid. It has that very structured denim look to it. These are a high rise jean and they actually hit true to being high rise. They hit right about at my belly button, a little bit above, and I got these in the ankle crop. Now, being 5'1", my biggest problem with jeans is typically that they're just too dang long. They pull at the ankle, and oftentimes that just, it's annoying, it's not flattering, and you get that like rumply ankle when it hits your shoe. But with the ankle option on Everlane's website, it gives you that same effect as if you were to get a crop length, a short length, or a petite size. Something I wanna make very clear is I'm not telling you guys to have 10 pairs of jeans. You can have as many or few as you want. I'm just trying to share my favorites in hopes that if you've been looking for a new pair of jeans or trying to find like the right fit or the best fit, that maybe you like get some ideas or inspiration or kind of find something that might work for you. I'm not trying to tell you guys that you should have 10 pairs of jeans or tons and tons of jeans. Like I just happen to have a lot because I do style and fashion here and I, I love fashion. It is my passion, just like the Bratz dolls. That's that's me. So I got a lot of clothes. Next up is a pair of jeans that is typically pretty different from my style. So this pair of jeans right here is the American Eagle 90s boyfriend jean. And this is my only pair of ripped jeans. I have not owned ripped jeans since like high school, maybe my first and only year of college that I went to. But then I came across these pair of jeans and I loved the fit of them. They're a very kind of slouchy straight leg jean. And that's one type of jean that I just did not have in my wardrobe. And I really wanted to give my go at styling it and wearing it. And they add such a bit of kind of like an edgy grunge up your outfit a little bit, but in a very classic way. The type of jean is not like at all a grungy jean, but the rips give them that effect that you're going for like a bit more of a casual, dress down, chill type of look. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. I feel like I'm just saying words and I'm hoping they make sense. They are so comfortable, so wearable, and feel so good on. And I think that's the number one thing I love about American Eagles jeans. You can just wear the heck out of them. They are so nice to wear. I would say that these fit in between a mid-rise to high-rise, and I ordered these in a four-short. American Eagle also has 
the craziest customization when it comes to lengths. You could get extra short, you could get short, you could get tall, you could get extra tall, you could get regular. There's so much customization and I think that's so awesome. So if you have been just like trying to find jeans and you're a very tall person or a very short person, definitely check out American Eagle because the customization is truly unparalleled. And I also love the rips on these. They're not in like a weird spot. Like if you're short, they are appropriately scaled down to actually be where your knee would be. And I think they just add a very cool edgy look to any sort of outfit. So these were my favorite, favorite, favorite pair of jeans for the longest time. And these are probably still like my number one tied with like one or two other pairs of jeans, but these ones have been my favorite for the longest. So these are actually passed down to me from my mom. They were hers in the 90s. They are from Gap. And unfortunately, that's all the information I've got. Kind of a bummer. But these are the perfect, perfect, perfect pair of high-waisted vintage mom jeans. They tick all the boxes of what I was looking for in a jean for the longest time. The fit is very taut, so it kind of just like sucks everything in. And then the waist has a bit of a curve to it. So it allows for a very flattering silhouette for your hips and your butt. And for someone who has pretty apparent hip dips, my hip dips are very rectangular. So having this curvature in the jeans, it really, it looks so flattering. It just looks so nice. And I really wish I could recommend this jean and like link the exact jean because it's such a cute fit. And again, the Everline Cheeky Jean is the closest I have found. They are the perfect amount of high rise sitting exactly at the perfect length for what I deem to be the perfect high rise about maybe like an inch above my belly button, I think is perfect for me because anything higher kind of just makes me look absolutely ridiculous because the jean sits right underneath my bust and having a 32e bust it just looks like my chest is sitting on my waistband and it looks weird it hits right at the ankle bone it's in the perfect vintage wash in the kind of style that you always want to find at the thrift store but never do the denim is incredibly high quality obviously it's lasted probably like 25 oh my gosh probably my age 25 to 30 years because my mom got these in the 90s had them ever since and then passed them on to me so the denim is incredibly high quality it's also a very soft denim because of all of that wear in the years but because the denim is so high quality it's not at all stretched out they are cute they're stylish they're perfect for me and my body type and they're also the vintage style that i love so much next up jean number four is the madewell stovepipe jean out of all the jeans i have these are the most comfortable the most stretchy the most wearable the most just like nice to wear around the house running errands just being out and about if you want a comfortable stretchy jean that isn't necessarily a jegging but still has that level of comfort and stretch this is that pair of jeans also has amazing pockets they are very big and deep so if you need to put like your phone in your front pocket you definitely can and it's not gonna like go flying out now the last pair of blue denim jeans that I'm going to be sharing with you guys is my favorite 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 pair of jeans right now I have been wearing the heck out of these ever since I got them they are absolutely perfect to me. So next up, jean number five is the American Eagle Relaxed Mom Jean. This pair of jeans is my holy grail pair of jeans, the type of mom jeans that I have always tried to find but forever failed until I found these. So unlike the Everlane jean and the pair of jeans that was passed down to me by my mom, those have a very classic structured mom jean style. They're a very 90s style where they're very rigid, taut, and structured. But this pair is a mom jean. It has that mom jean look. It fits and looks like a mom jean, but relaxed, but baggy, but fitted. It's like relaxed and fitted in all the right spots that you'd want them to be. The wash on these is immaculate. It is that perfect vintage retro look. They're very comfortable, they're wearable. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. I think if you were to take just one recommendation from this video on a pair of jeans that you should get, they should be these because these are my favorite pair of jeans. This is exactly what I looked for for so long and then I found them. And that is probably why every time I get dressed, I consider putting them on because they're just such a good pair of jeans. And they are always, always doing sales, especially when you sign up for their email list. I feel like every other day I open my email and American Eagle is like, hey, we're doing 30% off on jeans today. Hey, all of our jeans are $20 off. I don't know, they're always doing different sales. So if you're trying to buy jeans that are affordable 
but nice quality, wearable, stylish, and look good and you feel good wearing them, definitely check them out. This pair of jeans especially, give it a whirl. Let me know what you think because they're my favorite and that's my American Eagle mom jean, relaxed mom jean hype. Yeah. Moving on to the jeans that are not blue denim jeans. We've got jean number six. This is the same exact style of jeans as pair of jean number one from Everlane. This is also the high rise straight leg, maybe cheeky jean. Again, name on screen. But these I love because these are the perfect pair of white jeans. White jeans are really tricky to find because I think a lot of them just like are not very flattering sometimes, but these are incredibly flattering. So because these are in the same style as the first pair of jeans, they have that same kind of structure on the hips where they look very nice on my little hip dips. It is in a true shade of bone white, a very like crisp, clean white. This is your pair of jeans. The silhouette is nice, the fit is nice, the quality of the jeans is incredibly nice. They give you more of a classy, chic kind of look, a very like elegant, uh, I'm a mom in New York City and I'm running errands but looking incredibly stylish, but I look also like I didn't try and that I'm rich. That's the vibe. Basically, Lily Vanderwoodson. That's these pants. Next up, let's talk corduroy pants. So corduroy pants, I think are just so freaking cool. They are stylish and give you a nice like winter, fall inspired vibe to your look. And I think corduroy just looks super dope all the time. Styled with anything, worn however. Jean number seven is this pair of American Eagle corduroy mom jeans. And these I love because they're my two loves, corduroy and mom jeans. They look so good on, they are in a beautiful fit. They are comfortable, they're wearable. And these very much stay true to the mom jean fit. The classic rigid kind of sucks you in type of fit. Sometimes I don't want to wear blue denim. I don't want to wear black denim. And I'm not really feeling wearing a white pair of jeans, but wearing a corduroy pant not only gives me that pop of color, it also gives me a pop of texture, that bit of dimension that really levels up an outfit. They are more cropped because I actually got these in an extra short in the length. I did this because I wanted this pair of jeans to have a very cropped look to them. So instead of getting my regular short size, I just went and got the extra short. This pair of jeans is also very comfortable, but again, it is that very classic mom jean type of structure. So if you want something that's more baggy and relaxed, similar to the silhouette of the relaxed mom jean from American Eagle, I would recommend going up a size because it is very true to size and very true to the mom jean type of structure. I think these pair of jeans are a great way to mix things up, try something different, and step out of your normal routine of wearing simple blue denim jeans. This is the second of the corduroy pants, and this is the Levi's ribcage flare in a gorgeous, very not so wide whale corduroy. The wash on these is very warm tone. It's much more rust, whereas the other one is kind of a cool tone chocolate shade. And these ones I absolutely love. The other ones are great for like a casual, like step out of your zone, mix it up type of moment. And then these ones are great for, I am making a statement, I am going out into the world and I want people to notice how cool my jeans are. So this pair of jeans, I have not had too long, but I would definitely say they're one of my favorite pairs of jeans I have ever gotten. So the story on these is that a couple weeks ago, my friend Carrie Dayton and I did a thrift swap and these were one of the pieces that she got me. And I cannot tell you how much I love these. Not only are they so incredibly my style with being the corduroy, with being a flare jean, I love 70s inspired style. So the flare was just immaculate. I was so impressed. I was like, these are beautiful. And then the fit of them, is incredible. They're perfectly high rise and they also feature a four button up fly, which gives a lot of structure and makes it so you don't have that weird like zipper curl that sometimes extremely high waisted jeans get. And overall, I'm just so impressed with this pair of jeans. They are cool, they're vintage inspired and they just look really nice and flattering on and I dig it. Winding down, we've got a nice pair of simple classic black skinny jeans. Now my tried and true favorite black skinny jeans for the longest time was the Topshop Jamie jean in the skinny style as well as the flare style. But I've recently switched it up, changed, 
and I now really love these ones from American Eagle. I went on an American Eagle jean buying binge because I bought two pairs of jeans, absolutely loved them, and then decided to test out some others, fell in love with those, and then I just replaced the jeans that I didn't love as much and weren't as flattering or as comfortable as the American Eagle ones. So now I have these ones. So these are the American Eagle Dream Jean in the black high-waisted skinny jean. They're very elastic-y. You can squat in them. You can run around and move in them. You can like pop it, drop it low. They are so lovely. They feel comfortable. They're very wearable. They're in a very true black shade and they just look really, really nice on. And for our final pair of jeans. Now I almost did not put these on the list because I wanted to put another pair of jeans on the list, but no matter how hard I looked this morning and last night, I couldn't find these jeans anywhere. They are the Madewell Road Tripper jeans in the skinny ankle style. I'm still recommending them to you, so you're getting kind of technically a bonus 11th recommendation. I love those jeans. I've had them for like four years. They're comfortable, they're stretchy. I have talked about them before being my like sisterhood of the traveling pants jeans because they always fit throughout the last four years. They have always fit so perfectly, been comfortable. They're in a more like stretchy jegging type of feel material and they're just great. They are my one pair of darker wash jeans that I really like. Because I can't find the Madewell ones, we're gonna talk about these as number 10 instead. So this is the Next Level Stretch High-Waisted Artist Style Black Flare Jean. There's a lot of adjectives, but basically these are a pair of high-waisted black flare jeans, which are for me, one of my wardrobe essentials. These are a gorgeous fit. They fit so nicely. They feel comfortable. The jean, the denim is so stretchy. These ones, you can also like pop a squat, drop it low. You're all good. Nothing's gonna rip, nothing's gonna break. The stretch is so nice, but it's also a very taut stretch. It's really going to like suck you in, but it's also going to allow you to like move and flex and run around. I don't know what you're doing in your jeans, but if you wanted to do all of those things, you can. This pair of jeans I also got in a short length. The flare falls at the perfect length to wear with a pair of little booties, like three to four inches, and you get a very cool like 70s vibe look, and it's just so my style. I love these so much, and I think that's the last I have to say on it. So with that, that's today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing all of my recommendations, my 10 to 11 recommendations of jeans. And again, I really wanna make it clear that I'm not trying to tell you guys to go out and buy tons and tons of jeans, work with whatever is in your budget or your style. I'm just trying to give you guys recommendations if you are stuck on jeans to get. Sometime in January, I will be doing this style of video recommending my favorite bras because bras are another struggle of something else that is so incredibly hard to find even harder than finding jeans so that will be coming sometime like mid-january so if you're interested in bra recommendations definitely make sure you subscribe and put your notifications on so you do not miss that now for today's quote of the day this is kind of a quote slash challenge that i have for you guys and today's quote says do something today that your future self will thank you for this is something that I think we should all do every single day, whether that's journaling or cleaning your house or taking a bubble bath or eating healthy, like making a healthy dinner or exercising, like whatever your future self will be happy you did or grateful you did or relieved that you did. Definitely give it a go, at least for today and challenge yourself this week. And that's all I've got for today. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, got some good recommendations. I love you all so, so much and I will see you in my next video. Peace out.